Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a subscriber requested video. So I was recently asked by somebody to talk about lotions um, or scented body lotions that are more on the clean side. Um, I think I had mentioned in, in one of my videos that Bath & Body Works obviously are not the best things to put on your body. Um, They're full of chemicals and things that are not good for our nervous system. Um, anything that we put on our skin within two hours is going to be in our bloodstream. So um, somebody asked, I think in that video that I was talking about that, asked me to do a video on some clean lotions that um, are made in a better way. So um, I've got a bunch here. I'm just going to jump right in. The first one that I want to talk about, this one is actually local to me. This is a company called Deep Steep. Um, I can even find this in my local grocery store just because this is out of um, so the southern part of South Carolina. This company is from Johns Island in South Carolina. So I don't know how widespread this brand is. This could just be more of a local um, like southeastern brand for me but i do believe that you can find this now i found this on fragrancenet.com so you should be able to find it at least online um, but i really like this lotion i really like this company um, they use as much organic ingredients as they possibly can so and it even says they even have it on the tube here that it says deep steep is committed to ingredient transparency um, and they even have a, it says you can view all of their ingredient profiles at deepsteep.com. So they should have something on their website where it actually tells you what the ingredients are or where they originate from, things like that. Um, but this one does is made with like organic aloe vera, um, organic argan oil, organic coconut oil, organic vanilla, and organic rosemary. Um, so they do use a good amount of like organic products. This this scent is partic in particular is called vanilla coconut. Um, yeah, and it's really, really nice. I get more coconut than vanilla, but it's just a really nice um, kind of like, I don't know, light, creamy coconut fragrance. I really like this one in the summertime, and this is like a much better option for people that are looking for alternatives to like Bath & Body Works. This is a great coconut scent. And like I said, I was able to find this on FragranceNet, I think for about maybe eight or nine dollars, um, which is not bad. So anyways, yeah, keep your eye out for this brand. It is called Deep Steep um, and they do make really high quality, uh, not as chemical laden uh, Bath & Body products. Okay, next is Pacifica. Pacifica is known for being a very clean brand. They have way expanded. Uh, when I first started using Pacifica, all they had were like body lotions and perfumes. Um, they have expanded into everything now. They have hair care, they have skin care, um, they even have makeup now, and they have just always been known for being a very clean brand. They are vegan and cruelty free. Um, the Deep Steep is also cruelty-free. I don't know about vegan, but I do know that this one is cruelty-free. Yep, it is. It's cruelty-free and vegan. This one is cruelty-free and vegan as well. I think all of Pacifica's products I know for sure are cruelty-free, but I also know are vegan. Yeah, they're another brand that they're very clean. They formulate everything without parabens, phthalates, SLS, um, which is sodium laurel or sodium laureth sulfates, which are very bad. Just sulfates in general are not good. Um, and they don't use mineral oil, which is again, really, um, mineral oil is really gross. It's not good to put on your skin. Um, definitely do some research on how mineral oil is made. It's, it's just not good. Um, but anyways, yeah, Pacifica is a great brand for that. And they do make some really nice body creams and lotions. This one here is called Lavender Moon that I have. Um, this one is, it doesn't, like the scent doesn't last very long, but the moisture, the moisturizing lasts like all day. So, um, but they have other body, they're more like body creams um, in the bigger tubes that do last a lot longer. So anyways, yeah, Pacifica is a great brand if you're looking for body care that isn't full of a bunch of yucky stuff. Another brand that is really good is Hemp's. 
So Hemp's uh, as well has always been known for being kind of a cleaner brand. Yeah, these ones also say they are paraben-free, gluten-free, they're vegan. Um, of course they say THC-free, which is funny just because their logo is a hemp leaf. Um, but yeah, these they have been known for being pretty clean for a long time. Um, they're probably they're not going to be, in my opinion, as clean as like Pacifica or the Deep Steep or some of the other ones we're going to talk about. But they're still, it's still a much better option um, than Bath and Body Works. They do have a ton of fragrances. A lot of times, the thing with Hemp's though, a lot of times the fragrance, like whatever it's called, doesn't match the smell. Um, I've got three here. I buy the minis just because I don't go through lotion fast enough. Um, and the cleaner the lotion, the quicker you need to go through it because it will go bad. Um, this one is the original fragrance and I like this one. It's kind of got like a fruity floral scent. It's really nice. Um, I also have, I've got this one in a fragrance called Chocolate Mudslide. I've got that one next to my bed. It's a really good fragrance. It smells like hot chocolate or something. I've also got it in this fragrance here. This is called Butterscotch Blondie. Um, and it smells like butterscotch, like legitimately like butterscotch. It's so good. Um, yeah, this one I don't use as much because I it's limited edition. I know once I'm out of it, I'm not going to be able to get it again. So I use this one pretty sparingly. Um, and then I've also got it in this one here called Spun Sugar and Vanilla Bean. This doesn't smell very much like vanilla, which is, yeah, where you really need to get your nose on them first because a lot of times they don't smell like what they say they smell like. To me, this smells like something slightly sweet and mildly fruity. It doesn't smell like vanilla at all. Um, this one also has like a shimmer to it. This one that I have has like a very, very slight fine shimmer to it. Um, I just, I really do enjoy um, Hemp's body lotions, but like I say, they're not the cleanest on the market. They are clean, but they're not as clean as some of these others we're gonna talk about. Okay, next we've got Lush. These, Lush is great for, they are very clean. Um, they even have on their ingredients list in the back, um, everything that is clean is listed or is printed in green. Everything else, every other ingredient that's not completely clean is in black. Um, they are, they do a better job of explaining it on their website than I can. These, as, as all of the others, these are cruelty free. They don't have any of the junk in them, parabens, um, SLS, phthalates, things like that. Uh, this one that I have here is called Once Upon a Time and it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a spicy apple scent but I don't think that they have any way to get an apple scent without it being synthetic. So they put things together that kind of smell like apple, but so it doesn't smell exactly like apple. You kind of get the idea of apple, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I do really enjoy Lush, or Lush Bath and Body products. Um, they're products that I can use that I feel okay about. I know that like I said, I'm not going to have a bunch of nasty junk getting into my uh, bloodstream and going throughout my whole nervous system um, because they're not made with a bunch of junk. So I've got this one. I've also got Sleepy in a big jar and a big tub because that's my favorite one. It's the lavender scent. And then I've also got this one here. So this is the body lotion um, in the tubs. And then they also make this body milk in like a kind of a, more of a traditional bottle. Um, this one is called Yognog. This is, it's supposed to again resemble caramel, but it's hard to get a caramel smell without using a bunch of synthetics. So it kind of gives you the idea of caramel. It's more of like a, it almost gives me buttermilk vibes. Like it smells kind of like sour milk but not in a bad way not like rotten sour milk more like sour butter like buttermilk like a fermented milk i really like it it's sweet it does give you a kind of a caramel vibe but it doesn't smell exactly like caramel um, but yeah i do enjoy this one and these do have used by date so this one i should have used up by november of last year 
Um, so I'm going to need to get on this one. And then this one, I don't know, my use by date has rubbed off. But yeah, because these, they don't use a bunch of junk and preservatives and things in them, you do need to use them up quite quickly. So anyways, that one is Yognog, and I really enjoy Lush. Um, and then I've got some body butters and things here from Indie Perfume Houses. So this first one is from the House of Gloy, and they usually companies like this are using um, like raw materials that don't that just by nature don't have a bunch of junk or preservatives in them. They're using things like glycerin and um, different butters, um, aloe, and different things like that. So these just by nature are going to be cruelty free. They don't have a bunch of junk or preservatives in them. The only thing with these ones is they probably have some, th some synthetic um, perfume notes. Yeah, these are just by nature going to be much, much cleaner than anything you can find at like Bath & Body Works. These are not made with like industrial chemicals and industrial fragrances and things like that. Um, this one is called House Amber. I love this one. This is um, amber and yeah, it's basically just amber. This one is a body emulsion. They have different formulations of these as well. And I just really, really enjoy these. I feel much better about putting things like this on my skin than things like Bath & Body Works. Um, I also have a little tiny one here from Coco Pink. And you can see even, they've even got the ingredients right on the front here. Um, they don't have an ingredients list a mile long. Um, they're basically using water, cocoa butter, mango butter, uh, babasu oil, avocado oil, rice bean oil, meadow foam oil, um, calendula oil, a little bit of alcohol, glycerin, aloe extract, vitamin E oil, fragrance, xanthan gum, um, benzoic acid, so they're and that's it i mean they're just not using a ton of crappy stuff so oh my gosh this one is gorgeous this one is called angel of mumbai sky tower it's just a really beautiful like like creamy spiced fragrance i also really really enjoyed this formulation i think it's beautiful um, you're really paying for butters and oils and things that are actually good for your skin rather than really really strong synthetic industrial chemicals and fragrances so that's why i really enjoy these indie houses that make these body butters because you're actually getting you know something that's not really horrible for you and then last but not least i want to talk about these ones that you can find at ulta this is my favorite one here this these are called dianis um, these are goat milk moisturizers and this one is called Vanilla Bean. This is my favorite scent from this line. This is the most beautiful, like creamy, warm vanilla scent. Um, these are kind of like the hemp lotions. They are definitely not as bad as like Bath & Body Works, but I don't think that they're as clean as like Pacifica. But they still have a very, very small ingredients list and yeah, they're just, they're not nearly as bad as like other things that you can find on the market. These are quite affordable too. I think they're like $9 at Ulta. Um, I've got a couple different, for, I've got a bunch, I, well, I bought these for my husband because he actually really enjoys this lotion. Um, this one is called Verbena and Cream, and this one is, oh, so nice. It's like, a, it's a really, really bright, citrusy, like slightly creamy citrus fragrance. Oh my gosh, it's really, really nice. So yeah, these again are not full of really, really garbage ingredients, um, but I wouldn't say they're definitely not as clean as like Lush or um, Pacifica or even the Deep Steep, um, but I still think that they're really decent. So anyways, those are Dionys. Um, let me give you a good close-up look of that. So those are called Dionys, and they're pretty, and you can see the ingredients list is pretty, pretty small. So anyways, guys, that is a quick little video about uh, body creams that I think are a little bit safer and better for you than Bath & Body Works or alternatives to Bath & Body Works. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.